Looking to put transparent lower thirds graphics on screen during your live stream using the downstream keyer? In this ATEM quick tip, I'll show you exactly how to do it. First, we need to start off with a graphic. In this example, we'll use a lower third with a name and title. I typically create mine in Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, but if you're looking for something free and easy, check out Canva. Photoshop also has a free plugin that ties directly into the ATEM software control and allows you to export directly from Photoshop to the media pool. I'll save this for a later video. Start by dragging your lower third graphic into the media pool stills library. Then, we need to drag the image from the stills collection to either Media Player 1 or 2. I tend to reserve Media Player 1 for full screen graphics and Media Player 2 for lower thirds graphics. I'll drag the lower third image into Media Player 2, or I can head over to the main home screen, select the Media Player tab, and under Media Player 2, I'll choose the proper media. Both functions work the same way. Before bringing this graphic up on screen, there's still one more step. Click on the Palettes tab, and under the Downstream Key section, we can choose Key 1. Set the Fill Source to Media Player 2, and the Key Source to Media Player 2 Key. Now in some cases, you'd be all set, but some graphics may still appear odd if they have varying levels of transparency, so scroll down to the Pre-Multiplied Key. Uncheck the box so you can alter the settings, and you'll want to tweak the clip and gain setting to make sure your image shows up properly. To make sure you get your settings just right, head over to the Downstream Keyer 1 column and either select the Tie button if you want to preview the graphic before going live, or if your event hasn't started yet, you can simply select On Air to bring your graphic on screen. Now that you can see the graphic, adjust the clip and gain options under the pre-multiplied key to your desired look. When you're live and ready to bring the graphic on screen, all you have to do is select On Air for Downstream Keyer 1 to bring the image up, or if you'd like a gradual fade in, you can select Auto. For those using a preview program style of switching, use the Tie button to tie the keyer to the transition. Downstream keyers are great for temporary graphics that only come on screen for a short period of time, whereas the upstream keyers tend to be used for graphics that might stay on screen for the entirety of the program, such as a logo in the bottom corner or a framed border. That's all for this ATEM Quick Tip. See you next time.